Hi. I'm your host, DOS350. And I would like to welcome you to a very special program, a thought-provoking, cutting-edge, deep-dive inquiry into what I like to call pickles. Now, in today's episode of Pickle Review, we're going to be looking at Fellbergs, pickled sandwich stackers. They're sweet and tangy. So let's just jump straight into it. Make sure to tap that like and the goddamn subscribe button for all the latest in pickle scandals, atrocities, and hate crime. Only on DOS 350 under school legit. Now, let's just jump straight into it. Felberg's Pickled Sandwich Stackers. Sweet and tangy, sliced cucumbers in sweet mustard brine. Does that get anybody's mouth watering? Let me just repeat that again. Felberg's Pickled Sandwich Stackers, sweet and tangy. Sliced cucumbers in sweet mustard brine. Any gamers out there like the sound of that? Make sure to smash that bell button if you like the sound of that. As much as I do. And let's just get straight into it. It says, Australian owned since uh, 1985. It's got a little seal of approval up there. A little picture of Australia. It's 500 G's of sandwich stackers in sweet mustard brine. Now let's just jump straight ahead into the nutritional breakdown for all you health freaks out there. Make sure to smash that like button if you've had your daily intake of pickled cucumber. Alright, so the ingredients in these sandwich stackers just so happen to be cucumbers, 54%. Water, sugar, vinegar, salt, firming agent 509, yellow mustard, celery seeds, am I reading that right? Celery seeds, is that what these little seeds are? That's beyond the scope of this video. Ah, uh, natural flavor and natural color 101. I like that, it's a nice uh, binary number. I'm moving straight along, it says store in a cool dry place. Once opened, store refrigerated. Store below 4 degrees Celsius and consume within 3 weeks. I like that, so once you crack open the stack, you got 3 weeks in the fridge of stacking bliss. And that's just the way I like it. Now, the nutrition information, the nitty, how can I put this bluntly, gritty of the pickle. We're going to break it down on a molecular level, only on DOS 350 under scroll legit. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell button. Now, moving straight along, nutrition information, it says servings per package 9, so we know what we're working with. You get nine servings of stacked pickled cucumber in sweet mustard brine per package. And the serving size is 28 G's, and that's approximately two slices. So they've got the breakdown here of average quantity per serving and per 100 G's. So we'll do it per serving, and we're not going to do both. So this is per serving, and that's two slices. As you can see, the slice of the pickle is about the height of the jar, and uh, so they're pretty good, like, size. They'll cover a piece of bread, if you know what I mean. Make sure to smash the bell button until it starts ringing out loud. 
Now, let's just come straight into it. It says energy. So this is per two slices of these. Keep that in mind for the rest of the video during the remainder of the video. Two pickles we're talking about in this nutritional breakdown. Not just one pickle by itself and not a hundred G's. We're talking two pickles, two stacked sandwich slices, Bellberg, in the jar. Now, energy. We're working with per quantity, 74 kilojoule. Now, if I've got my um, Dr. Carl, uh, you know, brainwash nutrition information correctly, my average daily intake of kilojoule for a fully fledged Pueblo is somewhere around the ballpark of 8,800 kilojoule. So by that, I'd have to eat like 100 pickles like 110 pickles plus some change to have enough kilojoules. Am I getting that right? 8,800 for a full-on Pablo? Make sure to comment in the section below if the daily intake in kilojoules is not that or nowhere near it. Because frankly, I don't really care. But that's just what I heard through the goddamn grapevine. Let's just move straight into the next one. Protein, 0.2. G. So that doesn't sound like much when the two slices of pickle weighs 28 G's and you're getting 0 0.2. That's 0 0.1 G's of protein per pickle slice. So you're not going to be a protein powerhouse from pickles alone. But we'll just move straight along. Fat total 0, 0.0. Saturated 0. So you're not going to become a fatso by eating a pickle. There's no fat in that. And that's alright. Carbohydrate? Well, there's 3.9 G's per serving of two pickles. And that's alright. Sugar? Well, in here is 3.6 G's per serving. And lastly, sodium. 98 mg per serving. So it doesn't really mean much to me. But there you have it. Those are the facts that we're working with. And straight over here it says imported by Riviana Foods Pty Ltd. Chad Stone Tower 11341 Dandenong Road Chadston Victoria 3148 free call on 1-800-814-800 and it's got a website www.felbergfinefoods.com.au now and they've also excuse me they've also got a facebook little thing disappointing they don't have a twitter but we're not gonna hold it against them too much it's riviana it's got a little recycling symbol nice little barcode there all striped and, uh, you know, black and white. Like a certain animal I can think of, whose name starts with a Z. Make sure to comment in the section below if you know what I'm talking about. But that's, that's getting outside the scope of this video. We'll just say the one last thing that I have yet to mention is, it says in a little, let me see if I can enhance. Enhance. Mm. In that little thing, the very top of the label, that, sadly, informs us that this sandwich stack and is sweet cucumber and mustard brine is a product of where can I say this gently? India? So. The cucumbers come from India. The cat is pretty much out of the bag, like... It's said on the front here, Australian owned. It doesn't say proudly. It's like, oh shit, we are Australian owned, but we're not proud of it. That's the impression I get when it doesn't say proudly. Since 1985. That's only, you know, not long ago, really, in the grand... How can I put this gently? scheme of things 
but they didn't have the idea in their head that um, it's it, like we don't need to get a cucumber out of India. We can get it from downtown in Dandenong. We can get some cucumbers in the field. Old farmer Petey and Greggy can get on the tractor, sow the goddamn fields up with the cucumbers, get some sweet yellow mustard from the shops, and pickle them. It's not rocket science. It's not a goddamn laboratory where they're researching, you know, microscope stuff. It's just a pickle. So I don't see why an Australian-owned company needs to get it out of India. Unless it's, you know, they're exploiting child labor or something. And trying to get a pickle. They get a they get hundred tons of pickles for ten cents or something. And the little farmers have got one rupee per year to rub together. And ten years they got ten jingling in their pockets. Rupee. And they can afford a lemon for their life's work. Meanwhile, I go down to the shops to get a new packet of sandwich stackers from an Australian-owned company at the shop of Woolworth. And it cost me four dollars. So something's wrong there. It seems to me as if an Australian goddamn pickle company can make a pickle in in uh, you know the nation. But that's getting beyond the scope of this pickle review. So before we go any further and open this brand new jar of sandwich stackers, we're gonna take a turn onto their website and just check it out in a bit more deep dive detail. Only on DOS 350 underscore legit. So let's just smash the bell button. Um I've got a Bring it up here, just a moment. Okay. I'm going to just place these gently on the shelf. So, straight off the bat, we're looking at this website. And it says in the middle of the screen, which I can't highlight, Pickle Experts. Now, straight off the bat, like a baseball in the Yankees, I can hardly read that it says pickle experts, like the white blends into the stupid sandwich too much. So there's a picture anyway of what we got, sandwich stackers, right next to them. Well, those are pickled onions. And it doesn't come through, but why doesn't it come through? There's actually more to the image to the right. There's like a, let me just see if I can resize or something. Because it should show the whole thing. Um, excuse me for one moment. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, there is a uh, bowl of onions or something there. Anyway, um, it says, welcome to Felberg's. Felberg's Fine Foods, PDY Limited, and is an Australian-owned food company focused on bringing taste, quality, and innovation to the market. We specialize in manufacturing, importing, and marketing of pickles in the Australian retail market. Well, there you go. And there it is. That's the thing that was on the back of Australian owned since 1985. They're not proud of it. They got three little stars. I don't know what that means. And, um, yeah. So here's the thing. There's a field. Is that what a pickle in the field looks like? Like, I've got no idea. Is there a pickle under there? Is that the little top of it sticking out? Is that what shallots are? Like, I don't know, I really got no idea. But let's just get straight into it. It says, Our story. Philberg's Fine Foods PDY Limited is an Australian-owned manufacturing, distribution, sales, and marketing company, and is one of the most successful pickled onion manufacturers in the Australian retail market. Well, isn't that something? Like it is. I'm not trying to abuse them, but just like, I guess they've got to pump themselves up somehow. Um, established in the early 80s, Felberg's pickles have grown to become a household pantry favorite throughout Australia. The Felberg's range now includes delicious pickled onions, cucumbers, and jalapenos. 
the Felberg's brand boasts over 35 years heritage and specializes in bringing traditional and emerging international flavors to the Australian consumers. Emerging. It's like all of them emerging past and present. You know what I'm talking about in the comment section. Um, but that's getting beyond the scope of this video. We pride ourselves on carefully selecting from dedicated producers from around the globe. We share our belief that quality has no compromise. I like that. It doesn't have compromise. It shouldn't have it. Except for when they make it in India. I mean, go to him. Look at this. That's in um, Rajasthan or somewhere like this photo. It must be, because it's a product of India. Let's just move straight along. We hope that you enjoy your Felberg's product as much as we love creating them. For more information or to provide feedback, please contact us or follow us on Facebook. Where to buy? It tells you where to get them. Get in touch. Subscribe to our newsletter. Get social. Okay, let's go back to the homepage for a minute because there's something I forgot to say. Straight off the bat, they shouldn't use a um, sandwich that marginalizes uh, minorities. Like, it may not be apparent to all viewers at the moment, but this sandwich is a hate crime waiting to happen. Like, uh, I'm seeing the pickles, I'm seeing the cheese, I'm seeing the bread, I'm seeing the rubber band, I think that is, over here. But what I'm also seeing, are like, maybe it's roast beef. I shouldn't judge them too hard, but, like, if that's, can we enhance? We can't really enhance without wrecking the site. Can I view background or something? Um, well look, what I'm trying to say is, I better not be ham, okay? It looks like roast beef on closer exception, inspection, I'll give them a, I'll give them a break. But they don't want to exclude anybody is what I'm getting at, like, you know, even if it isn't ham, it might as well be a ham and a slice of dog meat filet, because some people are vegetarians up in here, and we don't approve of having meat shoved in our face. But it's getting beyond the scope of this video. Um, so they got recipes, stockers, contact us. We'll have a look at products just for a moment. Pickle cucumbers, jalapenos, onions, and vegetables. Let's look at the vegetables, just to see what we're missing. Banderilla style platter skewers. I don't know what that is. Cocktail onion, sliced gherkin, stuffed olives, and diced red peppers. They're perfect for entertaining. Okay, well, I don't think I want that. I think I know what they mean now, though. But let's look at what we got, just to make sure. Let's hold it up again, just so we know what we're working with. Um, there it is. Bottom left. Enhance. Our sweet and tangy sandwich stackers are a great addition to your sandwich or burger. Perfectly sliced to make assembling your masterpiece easier. So grab a jar and your favorite fillings, then get building. And get building. I like that. Available at selected Woolworths, IGAs, and independent stores. So that's interesting. They must have some kind of deal with Woolies and IGA because Coles uh, sure as hell isn't an independent store. So, why is Coles missing out on this? Maybe that's just a mistake, like maybe they are at Coles, but I, for one, bought these from Woolworths, so I'm not quite sure. Um, they got some recipes, alright, let's look at what they've got for their recipe. 30 minutes? I don't have that long. Print recipe. Look, they're giving us all the options. Alright, let's look. Ingredients. Product used. The jalapeno, I don't have those. I've only got the pickles, what the heck? How is that related if I don't have the jalapenos? Alright. 
let's just look at it anyway. No, I'm not reading this. I don't have the fucking jalapenos. All right. They've had enough of this website. Let's have one more look. Stockers. Let's look at that. Okay, so they do have it at Coles. They just didn't have the audacity and the, or the guts to say it. They must have um, some problem with Coles. It's like, we'll tell you it here, but we won't say it in the other page. That's okay. You want to look at the disclaimer and privacy policy? Welcome. Okay, it's longer than everything. Links to other sites. Complaints. If you got a complaint regarding the way in which... Okay, my personal information. What do they got? My IP address. Cookies. What the fuck? What has this got to do with me buying pickles? I haven't made an account or anything. Racial or ethnic origin, political opinions, membership of political association, religious beliefs or affiliations, philosophical beliefs, membership of a professional or trade association, membership of a trade union, sexual orientation or practices, and criminal record with that book. How are they going to even get any of this information? Are they serious? Cookies. What the hell? This doesn't make any sense, like, to me. If you know more about this stupid privacy policy, make sure to smack that. Maybe I bought this and they know everything. My political opinions, my religious beliefs, and my ethnic and goddamn sexual orientational practices? You kidding? Felbergs, you scumbags. All right, that's enough of their website. Now we're gonna get the moment you hear have all been waiting for. We're gonna crack open this packet of stackers and just see what they're like live and uh, unfiltered. Only on DOS 350. Pickle hack. Alright, let's go. Let's see if I've got the man strength to open this fucking thing. It ain't easy, I'll tell you that. I don't want to spill pickle juice on my microphone. I'm just going to get back a bit. Alright, it wasn't too hard. Alright. i got to be careful rolling around here. I don't want to get any pickles fucking brine on my carpets. All right, this is the inside of the lid. It looks pretty clean. There is actually a little, what is it again? Celery seed on it, but it's a bit too bright and shiny to show. Let's see if I can get a little look at the um, in, inner workings of this pickles. All right, all right, it's open. I don't want to spill it. I'm just showing you it's open. So first of all, we'll do a sniff test. It smells like sweet mustard from the hills of India. Alright, now, due to um, pickle distancing, I've got a pickle spiker to get one out without contaminating the stackers and the rest of them. So this is being clean. Um, it's been steam cleaned, it's been um, bleached, you name it, it's had it, and it's 100% clinically proven to be safe to use to get out the pickle. Alright, now let's get it. I just want one. Alright, it's coming out. Alright, I got it. It's like catching a fish. Only better. Alright, that's dripping brine over me a bit, but it doesn't matter. 
because that's the lengths I go to at dos 350 underscore legit to bring you the truth when it comes to Felbergs, pickles, and other pickled goods such as onions. But that's beyond the scope of this video, so let's just get a look at it. I'll try and just shake it off a bit. You gotta shake it off. Alright, I'll put away my pickle poker. And let's get an enhanced view of the pickle up close and personal and in your face. So that's what we're working with. This is what a sandwich stacker looks like. So as you can see, it's yellow-ish. It's like greeny yellow. And uh, it's dripping sweet mustard brine all over my keyboard. It doesn't even matter because that's just the way I like it here at Bell's 350 underscore legit. So it looks good. It uh, smells good. And let's just get straight into it and see what it's like to um, eat a Felberg sandwich stacker live and direct to you. Make sure to smash that bell button. God damn, that's good. God damn. You can really taste the sweet fucking mustard and brine. So that's just so good that I'm gonna go and eat the whole rest of this jar. But I won't bore you with the details, so I'm gonna uh, be right back. Make sure to smash that like button. Right, I'm back, and I'm a bit, uh, how can I put this delicately, pooped after having eaten a whole goddamn jar of sandwich stackers. Now let's just get a look at this. Goddamn empty. There's little celery seeds floating around in there, but that's about it, because I've eaten them all up, and that's just the way I like it, and I'm going to deep dive into how that felt as a gamer to eat a whole jar of pickles and uh, let's just get straight into it first straight off the bat the pickle is nice now you might be asking yourself does 350 underscore legit you can't just eat a whole jar of goddamn pickles by itself that's fucking crazy but that's the extent I go to as a gamer to bring you the evidence and the fact-based evidence and truth when it comes to Felberg's pickle. You gotta go all the way. It doesn't, one pickle's not gonna cut it. You gotta go the whole jar. You gotta see things through to the end. And that's what I've done, and it feels goddamn good. They, they taste good. They look good. They smell good, and they go down easy. They're a bit crunchy, and they're a bit tangy, and they're a bit sweet. They got it all, you know, they're not lying. I got a little celery seed in my teeth as a bonus. But anyway, um, the main appeal of this pickle to me, I'll just level, level playing field with the viewer. The reason I got the thing is because of the form factor. Now I like it sliced. Some like it sliced. And that's the reason I got them, because a whole big chunky pickle in a jar is good. It tastes similar, but the problem with it is, unless you just want to crunch into it like a bunny rabbit eating a raw carrot, it's a hassle. You gotta fucking slice it and dice it and do whatever you gotta do to get it, you know, get it good but this one is already ready to go they sliced it at a nice wide angle must come from a pretty big pickle because they're pretty big slices and they're just ready to go like they said in the um 
the manifesto. It's like, build your masterpiece or whatever. It's like, God damn, I'll build my masterpiece. And I won't have to fuck around slicing pickles to do it. They're ready to, to go. So that's a huge plus when it comes to pickles. And um, I'm going to have to give the pickle elbow um, sandwich stackers the DOS 350 underscore legit official uh, rating of highly goddamn recommended. Slap them in that handbag and in the trolley when you go to the shops. And if the, if the kids won't eat their veggies, and they say, Mum, I want a pepperoni. Dad, I like, um, you know, lollies. Say, shut up, you little piece of shit. No, don't say that. Say, now listen, Billy, you're getting sandwich stackers, and you're going to like them. And you can take them home and teach them how to build their masterpiece. And it'll be healthy and fulfilling for many years to come. Only on DOS 3 bitty underscore the chip. Now, you might be wondering, god damn, this is a hard-hitting video. And you're really breaking down barriers and through glass um, ceilings. And what the hell are you thinking, you know? We've got a nice, quiet environment, not much happening. And you go and shake things up like this with a video like this. Well, I'm going to say sorry, but not sorry. Because as a gamer, what I've got to do to bring justice to the pickle industry is show it like it is and tell it like I mean it. And that's just what the hell I've gone and done. Can you blame me? And with that, I'm going to leave it there. I think I've, um... Actually, hold on, bonus, bonus, um, segment. You got a bonus alert. Um, we'll just snap back quickly to the website. The privacy policy is a piece of shit. Like, what has this got to do with anything, really? Sensitive information, like... Like, A, health information. What the hell do they need in, like, what has this got to do with the pickles? I understand that they've got cookies, but, like, what's all this other shit about? Well, let's look quickly at the terms and conditions. General terms of supply, standard terms of conditions of sale. Alright, let's look at both of these quickly. Okay, it's a big PDF. Can I zoom, please? What the fuck? Anti-bribery. Business ethics. Conditions. God damn it ain't easy to navigate this stupid PDF. I'm swinging all over the place. Sunrise. Now the, the, the rabbit hole goes deeper. It's like Morpheus in the Matrix. Where you take the fucking red pill. And then you find out that Sunrise has got something to do with the pickles. I mean, god damn. Injury. Death. Loss or damage to property. All this with a pickle, are you kidding? Alright, let's look at this. This is the same shit, pretty much. The price of goods will be as agreed in writing by the company in the agreement in an order or otherwise. Blah blah blah. GST. Delivery and risk. They're not obliged to deliver the goods under an accepted order unless they've got the money up front in the fucking handbag. Dates, they're not, that doesn't matter when they give them to you. <laughs> they've covered all their bases here. MSW has got special conditions. How do you say that word? Uh, defects. They'll comply with the law, blah blah blah. God damn, who would have known there were so many terms and conditions for Sandwich stacked pickle. They got meat again. I'm not really happy about that. It's like, well, we got an imagination. We can work out what the hell to do with our own pickles and jalapenos. We don't need your fucking little hints. More, they don't have any. It's illegal. 
more recipes, please. No. 10 to 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Gourmet onion platter. Let's look at this. Ten pickled onions. I've counted them out one by one. All right, I can't blame them. Salami. All right, they've committed the carnal sin. Leviticus twelve fifteen. Thou shalt not have a salami. I am the Lord thy God. Something like that. Half a cup of salami. This is just making me sick. All right. Ooh, they got raw meat. Right next to the cheese. Are you kidding? This must be a salmonella risk. Like, this picture needs to go. What is that? What is that? And what the hell is that? And why is it next to this and this? And what's that? Big jalapeno down there. That thing's fucking huge. And why aren't those pickles sliced? I'm just... Look, they're highly recommended, guys. Make sure to tap that like button. So, in summary, um, they taste good, they're convenient, they're a pretty good price, like $4 is quite a lot, but it's worth it having them already sliced, I think. The only downsides are the privacy policy and the fact that they're made in India. Um, Otherwise, there's a good product, and I recommend you get them. And when Billy and Julie are saying, Mum and Dad, just say, you're getting sandwich stackers, and that's all you're getting. And I don't want to hear it. And say, not allowed to run in the shops or something. Just get the pickles, is what I'm telling you. And they'll be a happy family. Till next time. Ah. Uh, this is Sweet Mustard and Brine Pickle Review coming to a close. Uh, I've been your host, Dos350. And um, make sure to watch many, one of my many other reviews while you're here. Thank you.